Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to talk about how to create a login form. First of all here I have a MySQL workbench. In the MySQL workbench here we have I, for this tutorial I created a tutorial database. In the tutorial database I added a new table. The table name will be users. Here in the column names I'm going to be adding an ID and I'm going to be setting a primary key. You're not null and auto increment. Here we're going to add the user and we are going to add another uh, field here, password. Okay, now we're going to uh, click on apply here, apply. And as you can see here, we created a user's table. Here is the ID, we're going to enter ID1 and user, user and the password to 134. And we're going to click apply here. Okay, now let's go to the coding part here. Before you start, I've created this in the VBnet here. You also need to add a reference before you start with the project here. Go to uh, add, right click here, add and references. And here go down to until you find MySQL. Okay, in the references you should have something like mysql.data. If you don't have this, go ahead and download it from the website of the mysql. After that, we can continue with creating it, uh, the, the login form. I, as you can see here, to save time, I create already created here the username and the password. I created two buttons here. Let's go to the code now. As you can see here, the first of all, you need to uh, write the imports for the mysql.data mysql client then we create a connection as mysql connection and we cre create a mysql command here after that i created a public subroutine named login now here uh, we're going to reference to the connection and create a connection string your connection string may, might be different because i'm using a local host i'm using my root and id and as you can see here in the database part you should uh, put your name of the database you're connecting and the port. Your, your port might be different than mine port. Here, now, we create, if the text box 1 is empty, then you, we should display here is our text box 1. That means that the user should enter uh, the username. This. And here should be Please enter the password. Okay, now we have a try catch block. On the try part of the block, we open the connection and we create a query here. The query should be select all from tutorial, which is our database name, and from users, which is our table name here. And we declare that the user is going to enter the user in the text box 1 and the password on the text box 2 here. After that, we uh, execute the reader here and we have a quantity. While the reader is reading, uh, increment the quantity for, from 1. If the quantity equals 1, then the login is correct and you will log into your program. If no, then the username does not exist or it is not true. And here at the end we close the connection here. I have an error here. And we are finally disposing the connection. Now I'm going to try this, but before uh, we start we need to assign the subroutine to the button. We're going to cl double click the button and we're going to type a login here for okay now let's go and start the program okay so here we have our form our username was user and our password was one two three four i think probably yes login correct as you can see here okay so we need to do one more thing in here in the close part 
or no. The better thing to do is to application dot close. Okay, right now here on the password field we can click on the password field and here in the password character we can add characters so nobody sees the password. And now let's try something different. Let's say we enter an uh, incorrect. Okay. Let's run the program again and let's enter something like user1 and password1. And as you can see here, the username and the password are incorrect here. So, this is the code. I will be posting the codes uh, like a PDF on my website, which will be uh, <clears throat> available shortly. Now, one more trick here if you want this form to open another form after the login is correct we add here a new item windows form form 2 okay we're gonna add one button here you don't have to add i just did okay now here in our in this part here when the login is correct we're gonna call the form And we're gonna add here me.hide so you don't see the login form anymore. So let's try this again. We're gonna type our password here, press login, login correct, okay. And as you can see here, we have the second form. Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments area. I'll try to answer them. And if you want, more tutorials please hit subscribe and like thank you for watching